Welcome to BCH Technologies. This is Kevin. Today we're going to reset a waste ink pad. We have this printer with a refillable cartridge set up for the printing. One day we will receive an error message saying service required. And a small print will read our printer's ink pad is at end of service life. Please contact Epson support. If you contact Epson support, they will probably tell you to get a new printer. Two things new need two things need to be done to correct this problem. Physically, you need to divert the waste ink out of the printer. I'll put a link here for a reusable external ink waste tank. I will collect the waste ink in a small plastic tank and you can dump off the ink if it's full in the future. Secondly, you will need uh, to have uh, software to reset the printer's counter back to zero. There's a free software on the internet, but it will be either loaded with viruses or its creator will ask you to buy a key for each reset. In this video, I will show you how to get an unlimited reset. However, to get unlimited resets, I need to get a very technical. Well, we used to give our customer the software and ask them to install it. Then there are all kinds of problems. Uh, first, first uh, they might have a Mac system, but uh, they, uh, they didn't realize it bought the PC software. And the second one, they might have uh, a different antivirus, uh, also did like a window defender. And uh, so they kind of figure out how to, how to disable it or like how to get it running. And thirdly, they may have some weird drivers or something uh, like uh, uh, just something block their uh, usage of the, the software. So, um, so eventually we come up with this idea. Okay. So no matter what kind of Windows, oh, again, this software only works on Windows. So. Um, no matter what kind of windows you're running. And then um, we, we make a virtual operating system. And this operating system is like a mini computer. And uh, then we install the required uh, software. We install the required uh, driver, everything into this little thing. And then uh, we take we take this uh, operating system and uh, we bring it to a DVD and then we will receive a DVD uh, you copy the files for those virtual uh, for, for this virtual machine to your hard drive and then you will need a, a player something called a player so you download this uh, free uh, virtual machine player onto your computer. And uh, then the player can load up the, this virtual virtual machine. And then uh, and then you can you can use this uh, the software inside this virtual machine to do whatever you need to do. And also if anything gets corrupted and uh, if there's a virus or anything, they only destroy this virtual machine. It will not get onto your computer. And uh, also, you know, because those everything inside here is uh, pre-configured, so everything should work right away. And you don't need to worry about any anything, comp compatibilities, anything. And uh, if you somehow destroyed this file, then you just get, a, just get a new copy from your DVD. And I think that's the best way to go. Also, this player is free download from the VMware.com. So if you cannot get this, this virtual uh, this virtual player installed on your computer, so you don't need to buy this DVD belt because it's not going to work on your, on your computer. Uh, this, this player also, also, they have a version for Linux. I never try on Linux. Okay, let's say if you can get this player work, uh, before you order a DVD. So you go to the uh, VMware website, and also I create a shorter URL for you to copy, and it's the same URL. And uh, you, want to, you want to download their evaluation copy. 
you can see the left side is the Windows and the right side is for Linux. So we're going to download the Windows. It will be a typical yes, yes, next uh, installation. However, if you see this, uh, this message said unsupported C CPU detected, just stop and uh, your laptop or computer is too old to do, to do this and get a new laptop or like a borrow your friend's laptop. Uh, when you ask for a serial number and uh, there's a choice that says private use free. Okay, after you get the player running, now you can order the DVD. Uh, so for the software, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and go to software, apps and with reset, and then you can pick your uh, your uh, printer model. When the DVD comes, there will be three folders. The first order, folder, the extra drivers, those are just extra stuff that uh, we put it there just in case you, you ever need it. And uh, the second one is uh, actually it's the player you just you just installed, so we make an extra copy there. The third folder is the folder has your, uh, your printer's model number, so you want to copy that whole folder to your hard drive. After you copy it, you can open the player. And uh, you open a virtual machine. And then you go to the folder you copied to your hard drive, not on the DVD. And then you open up the file that have have the exact name of your, your printer. And then you can you can play. I always give through this error on my machine, so I mean it's, I don't know what it is, but just say okay. Now you have a little Windows XP running inside inside your computer. Uh, one more thing you need to do is uh, on the cover of your, of your DVD, it has a, a date. It says change your date to. So we need to change this uh, Windows XP uh, system date to this date that's printed on the, on the DVD. For example, this is July 11th, 2008. So we go there, change the date. After changing the date, you go to my document, and there'll be two folders. One is a zip file, which is just a backup of uh, that file, that, that folder that we're going to use. So when you get into that folder, and you're going to run that uh, ADG program, and also in the folder, you also just make sure uh, you have the exact date has uh, another file tell you what the date it is, just make sure your date is exactly as this date before you run the program. To be extra sure, just move your mouse to the corner of the computer. It will show you the date, the system date. So after, after we verify the date, we can run the program. Now it's the time to power on your printer and then plug in your USB cord. When you plug in uh, the USB cord in, I had to ask you, do you want to connect this uh, USB to a host machine, which is your laptop, or the virtual machine? You want to be connected to, to the virtual machine, the virtual box, not your computer. So the, this uh, virtual Windows XP can see the printer. So I, here I select the second choice and say OK. Then you're going to select the printer port. Do not set it to auto select. Now we click the sequential adjustment. 
and we go to the with ink pad and we tell the printer we check the ink pad and click OK and we're going to see here we select both columns and did a check and uh, you can see the the waste tank readings right now and then we select both and uh, we do initialize and ask us to turn the, the printer off and uh, we do it and uh, then we turn the printer back on Now, just something, uh, uh, normally you don't want to shut down the machine, you just suspend it. So you can then later on, you can you can resume it, and that will be easier for you. Everything is already open, configured. So if you shut it down, it's like you're restarting the computer. So you just uh, suspend it. Uh, next time we resume it, uh, don't forget to check the system date. Make sure your system date is exactly what are printed on the DVD, so you make uh, otherwise it won't be running. Uh, anyway, if you uh, somehow mess it up, just delete the whole folder where the uh, virtual machine is and uh, make another copy from the DVD and do the same thing, mount it up and then change the system date and you're ready to go again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Cheers.